here's the deal. First of all, Paul was not a crazy maniac murderer like everybody said. No, at first he was. He started started with Stephen. So, so, he didn't so, so Paul, Paul came into Acts. Didn't, he didn't endorse Paul that. Paul came into Acts. He didn't endorse that. He didn't endorse that. He saw it happen. He made people lay his coats. No, no, he made people lay his coats. He, endorse- he, he saw ev- Evangelist Stevens. No, you're lying. He saw him crucified and it planted a seed on Paul and it actually didn't say that. Me it that. touched him. No, it didn't say that. Paul, Paul, it touched him. Paul it planted know. a yeah, seed yeah. on him. But, but here's the thing a lot of people think he was a murderer, but it doesn't say that either. He persecuted the Christians, he didn't kill them. A lot of people say that. He persecuted the Christians and he had, it says right here, it says, and Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered abroad. No, no, no. I want to But watch this. But watch this. Where's Paul introduced that? Go, go. Before. We go again. No, no, no. Do me a favor, though. <laughs> before we start, go and Paul first introduced. We, we first came in at, when we, during the Stephen part. Let's go. Okay. Go, go to the Stephen part. Acts 5, it right. says the people dropped their coat as he consent to this murder. I, to, I, I ain't put the fucking chapter, though. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's Acts. No, I got it right here. It's Acts twenty two twenty. No, no, that, that that's not where twenty two twenty. Please, but that's not where Stephen was. Getting Go to twenty two twenty, please. Open up books. I got my books too. Let's do it. Twenty two twenty, man. Let's, let's go there. My, 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 my books were goddamn big. <laughs> twenty twenty, man. Why don't you go twenty twenty? I want you to read it to me. Twenty twenty or twenty two twenty. Twenty two twenty. I want you to read it to me, eh? It says, and when the blood of the martyr Stephen was shed, I also was standing by and consenting unto his death and kept the raiment of them that slew him. He consented. Right. He didn't rob the bank, but he drove the car. He consented it. Right. We get it. He was the officer there to stop it. He didn't stop. He consented it. That, and he dropped a coast to right. him. That's a message. We, yeah. If there was you, no seed planted, Joe. Okay. But he did, though. There was no seed planted, Joe. You made that up. No. He, there Don't was ask. a seed planted because of the fact that he saw his example. You're putting that in there. Listen, I'm not saying thus save God. I'm saying that I believe that. Okay, say you believe. I, I believe that that Stephen was so devout that he was willing to die for the gospel that Saul said, I guess I ain't even that gangster. Well, well show me what's but, that. But, no, no, so, so, no, no, no. Show me the conclusion. What will that? I, that's that's I, not what happened. But listen, I believe. By no, him no, seeing that. No, no, I don't want you to believe. Tell, show what you read. Show me. Show me. No, no. no believe, yo, so believing means nothing. You just believe anything. But yeah, that's not fair. No, no, no. Afterwards, go to me. Where, where, why would you think that? But because no, go go to the go, same thing. Tell me why would you feel that Paul felt some type of way? But do you know when this? You, I'm gonna show you. The, <laughs> I'm gonna show you the chapter that this originally happened when Steve got martyred. That's it. That's it right there. Acts that's not 22. it. That this was people. His Acts 22 20. That was his testimony. Paul consented to his murder. Because he was a fucking Pharisee and he, 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 was, he was a murderer. That was his, He was a murderer. That was his testimony. He, he was a Pharisee. He, he, was a, he was a viper. He consented. No, he, 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 he killed other, other Christians, though. He which, is, which is not good either. I'm not saying that is, is not good. Okay? He, but he, he didn't murder. Why do you him. trust Paul? What, what, gives you, what gives Paul any, any credibility? Let's, let's start there. Paul has no credibility. You know why he has, has a credibility? Everyone in the Bible. All right, so go to go to Acts seven because here's why I believe. Because the Bible says, I don't want you to believe it. What it say? Yeah, but I just, want you to believe. Just like you get revelations of the politics of the government, in order for the Bible to make sense, inspired by the Holy Ghost, we need a sound teaching that's going to bring this together. It's not that. It exactly says don't smoke weed. It doesn't exactly never say don't, don't smoke cigars. But it says keep your mind sober. But that's common sense to say that. Well, oh, I can't do drugs. It's so there's common sense in the Bible. I'm not saying thus say of God. But why is it after he got stoned, the next chapter over is when he got his encounter with Jesus? No, the next chapter you, you skip mad chapters. Well, go, go, go back to act, no. Go, go to Acts twenty two. Go to Acts twenty two and skip the next chapter. No, no, that was him telling the story. That wasn't the original chapter. If you go to Acts chapter 7, it says, and it says, uh, he went through a whole sermon, and then, and then they stoned him. It says, and they cried out with a loud voice. And they stopped their ears. That's they, Acts 7, right? That's not that's, that's, Acts, Acts 7. 22. That's Acts 22. Acts 7. 22. So how far is that in between? 22 was uh, a, 
when he was just telling his testimony, he would, that wasn't the original time that Stephen got. He wasn't telling us. I think I think Luke was telling Stone. the story. It's Acts, right? Luke 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 wrote Acts, right? Luke he was a physician. So Luke so, so Luke he wrote Luke in Acts. No. The rest Paul, of that is Paul. Paul. Paul wrote 13 books in the New yeah, Testament. Yeah, but, but, but Luke and Acts but I, is, is, but he, is, he, is Luke. Here's what's dope about it. Here, I'm going to give this quick nip, right? He wrote 13 books, possibly 14. A lot of people debate the book of Hebrews, but I believe since the book of Hebrews is about faith, then yeah, you better read about faith. But here's the thing. The Here, here's the thing. Right. Um, Where are we at here? Tell me. So he wrote, he wrote 13 books. Every time he wrote the book at the end, he signed it out, right? Except for the book of Acts, because the book of Acts is what the main thing, the main church should be continuing off uh, the book of Acts of, of the, the teachings of what God left there. So here's the thing. He signed out every book except for the book of Acts. He didn't sign it out because the book of Acts continues the way the church was built. Everybody is scattered, just like it says. Well, who, that everybody who, was who, scattered. Who was Luke? Who, who was Luke? Luke, uh, it was a, he was a physician. He was a physician, right? He was a doctor. He was, he was educated, right? He was a doctor, just like now. Um, and, he, and he was, oh, no, no, no. So that's why a lot of Christians that say, oh, I don't need the doctor. I don't need to go to the, the medical. Listen, God still uses doctors. Let me ask you this. What gave Paul credibility to say he he witnessed God. Like, well, so if I told you right now, God came to me and I was blind and I'm back now and he told me to say this, would you believe me? You you want to know where the belief comes from? No, what gets I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. some credibility. I'm no, no, I ain't right talking now. about belief. No, it's belief and credibility different things. What gave him any credibility? That's what I'm asking. I'm asking about belief. I don't care about belief. Listen, you talk to me. I don't care about nobody beliefs. I don't care about no what you believe in. You know why? Because that don't mean nothing. A belief don't mean nothing because it's not backed by nothing but feelings and emotions, not logic and not facts and not truth. So what gave Paul literally credibility? He wasn't a disciple. Jesus didn't talk about him. He wasn't prophesied. And, and, and he was not appointed to the Gentiles. Peter was on the rock. Am I lying? Peter, yeah. Peter so what the fuck gave Paul any right, not, any right to, to preach to anybody? I'm gonna show you right here. You should know off the, off the top. You're a Christian. Why, why, why you, I'm asking you things off the off the top. I, I'm at, let's go. We we can go off the books too. Then it, so what, what, what confirms what confirms a believer? No, uh, what, no. You want what gives Paul credibility to preach? He wasn't a disciple. He didn't get picked. As a, did, as, hold on, hold on, hold on. When Judas died, they picked the whole. They they, they, they didn't pick Paul. They could have picked Paul. They didn't. They picked the whole. Was it Matthias? They picked Matthias as, as they, replaced they, Judas, right? Yeah, they played dice for it. No, they didn't. They had a criteria. The criteria yeah, was lots. no, no, no. The cri they no, lots the cri for that. no. It was a criteria. In that time, it's a cri they, it was a criteria. It's the criteria. Time, was, hold on, this was the criteria. It's in a book. It's in there. I got notes. The criteria was this: you had to be with us from day one with Jesus. He, we, got, we got baptized by John until he went in, and he had a, in, into ascension. That was the, the criteria. Paul didn't fit that criteria. Now what I'm asking you is that what you believe or not? No, no belief coming. What gave Paul? What gave Paul any credibility when the disciples didn't give him no credibility? Or Jesus didn't himself? Jesus ain't mentioning Paul at all. Well, why does he have to? Because he's Jesus. Yeah, but he. The, the Bible says that there's many books that haven't even been shown, that haven't even been displayed. Of what you haven't even known, like why? If it's Nigga, funny, what gave Paul credibility? Is what I'm asking. It's funny though because you you will come to me question. and say, answer my question, please directly. What gave Paul credibility when Jesus didn't mention him? When Moses didn't mention him? Elijah didn't mention him? No prophet, no twelve disciples, and they never mentioned because him. Because it's, it's all about Jesus. It, they don't need what gives him credibility him. though. He ain't know Jesus. But what gives you credibility when you're in the streets? Let me ask you that. What, credibility. My work, my deeds, people see me, people know me. It's verified. Exactly. It, the same thing with Paul. No, it's not. Because When you move to no, the No, 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 no. Stop, stop, what, stop, stop, stop. What confirms stop, the stop, believer? Stop, 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 Don't tell me to stop. No, 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 not stop being rude. I'm telling yeah. you, let me say something quick, though. My yes. fault. You're right. No, no, it's all But right. I'm saying this right here. You're saying what give you credibility in the streets. No. What What gave credit, Paul credit, credibility to say he knew Jesus, that Jesus talked to him? It's a difference. 
Me being in the streets, credibility is different between saying I know somebody and somebody don't know you. They can't just say I can't, he came to me in a dream and I know him. You know what I'm saying? You can't do. It. That's not the same credibility. It ain't the same criteria. That, that category is is void. It don't work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but here's the thing: just like you anywhere at a job, music, business, the streets, those allegories, dude. Whatever credibility that you gained, why is it different in Christianity? Why? why I'm gonna is tell it you different? why. Because 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 it's just, it's the Lord and Savior at stake now. It's not right. this. It's not just a word of mouth. That you're right about. Hold on. This you're is right this, about. This, this, this is this is your eternity. This is this is your your um. What is it called when you die? Your um. This this is your is your soul at stake. Do you know what I'm saying? You're right. Now 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 but hold now. Hold that thought. I want people ahead, to yeah, hear yeah. that. Go ahead. You said something important when it comes to the Bible. When it comes to Christianity, you're talking about the kingdom of God. You're talking about souls are at stake. Exactly. And this is why. And I'm. I, 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 it's great how you do take it passionately because you honor the fact that it is something heavy on stake. And, and that's dope. And, and a lot of people, they nonchalantly hold Christianity like it's some kind of Nike brand. Like it's just uh, a label or something. And it's not like that. It is something serious that's at stake. And you should get into the scripture. Yes. And you should ask questions. Because you remind me, there was a group called the Bereans. And you know they did not say amen when Peter and Paul preached. They didn't say amen. They went home and searched the scriptures. Amen's on the Bible. What, what I'm saying is that they didn't take every word of the preaching. They went home, searched the scriptures. He's supposed to. And then. Yo, listen, listen. And then. They, so I, I want. What I'm trying to say. Yeah, is that's what you're you, say. Yeah. You, 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 they were called the Bereans. And that's actually in the book of Acts. We won't go there. But it's Acts 17. They used to listen to the preachings of Paul. And the, some they of the challenge disciples. it. Do research. They would go home. They didn't challenge it, but they would go home, research it, and see if it was true or not. That's the challenge, though. So you know what I'm saying? It's dope what you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm here to disrespect you. I'm not here to disrespect no Christians at all. Yeah, yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? What so, I mean. so, so I, sometimes, like, you know, how you get you get passing it, I get a, so I'm not going to disrespect you at all. I'm not. No, I'm no. not. But when I say stop something like that, it don't mean, like, you know, shut up. And I'm not Real quick, that. just read this one scripture, 17, Mark 16, It says, 17. And these signs shall follow that they, that they believe in my name. He shall cast out devils. But it's, he shall speak with new tongues. Do you see that happening right now? No. That's why there's such a disbelief in Christianity. People are not moving in signs and wonders. They're not but, casting. So here's the deal. It says, if, if these signs shall follow them that believe. That's what brings in the credibility. If you believe in something so much. It will come. Credibility, experience, that comes with the cost. That comes with whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's stop now. Believing don't bring nothing. Because you believe in fairy tales and they don't bring nothing. A belief doesn't bring nothing. Let's, let's be clear. Real things bring real things. Don't, don't, don't something come from nothing. You it's, can believe in something that's you false. You can do what you right. want to do. You're right. But you could believe. But what you said right there is false. Belief doesn't bring nothing but beliefs. It doesn't bring facts. A belief doesn't make something true. Let's be clear of that. But you still need to believe, though. You don't need to believe nothing. You still need to believe. If, no, if something being proved to you, you don't got to believe it. It's being proved to you. Knowing and belief is different things. Knowing is different from belief. It means your belief is off. So here's the deal. If I see that there's... If I say I believe in snow, snow is white. But then someone else says I believe in purple snow. There will never be purple snow because your belief is off. And it needs to be lined up with the truth. Now, let's, I, now I, I can counter that. It could be purple snow. If someone was taught that white is purple, then it's purple snow. It's just, it's just a miscommunication. Well, oh, if you oh, wanna, a name, if you a name, a name, to, a name. But, but if you, you want to get into colors, but, 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 yeah. But, 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 see, what I'm saying it's, it's just different names. Different like people in Spanish don't call it don't call it white. They call it something else. They call it gringo. It's a different name for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying my whole thing is this though: belief alone is not enough. Now Paul, not thing, enough. you're right. But Paul says all you need is belief to get grace. You don't need actions. Paul took away the actions and accountability of Christianity. Do you do you, do you agree or not? Say that one more time for the people. Paul replaced deeds of the law with disbelief. All he needs to do is believe. So he took he took he took he took he took he took this straight and narrow and made it wide and bent. He said, "You do what you want to do. All you do all you can do is believe." That took all accountability from from real believers. Do you know what I'm saying? Paul did that. This is I got notes. He did that. He said, "All you need is grace. You don't need the law. That's antichrist."
But if you, but watch this. This, this, the maturity growth. First of all, you want credibility. Go ahead, man. Go. Just like anybody else, a teacher, a police officer, a, a psychologist. Um, they they need to go through their self. First, they need to go through their own self awareness. Then they need to go to what college training, right? Then they need to. Show that they are of, of approved. The Bible says show yourself approved. So yeah, you're going to go through tests and exam. There might be a real test. It might be a life exam. It might be a life exam. And it says this. It says, okay, you prove, show yourself approved. Nobody, well, I'm not going to, definitely, I'm not going to use cops right now because they, that's, that's a bad thing. That's a bad, a bad <laughs> way. <evaluation, laughs> <bad> <laughs> they're not, hey, yeah, they're away, not, man. they're allowing anything uh, through, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, man. Anything that you're, even, you can't just drive a car. It ha, you have to have a license. You have to have insurance. You got to have a registration. You don't have to have the to drive a car. You don't need to drive a car, Joe. Right, but it's still off the laws allegory of the land. Allegories suck. You know what allegories suck? I'm talking about allegories suck to cut you off. Because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit directly. But if you want to go as deep as you want to go, honestly, even this dialogue won't even be it. It, but it's enough. It's enough. It's enough because it's a but start. But if you want to get real deep, well, let's get real deep. It's enough. I believe it's then, enough. Let's go. How deep can you go? I, I go believe deep. it's enough too. So, so what you're saying? But you can't say parables aren't either when Jesus parables, used them. Because, because no, no, Jesus used parables because he was talking in riddles. Because what, what he was saying wasn't for everybody. It was for the it was for the elect and the elite. Of course, but like, a lot of people like, hold on, hold on. twist it. Look, it's, it's, it's 96 books that the Bible had. We only got 66 of them. Jesus said, "I'm gonna go somewhere that you don't even know where I'm going." They were like, "Are you gonna kill yourself?" Like they didn't, they they couldn't grasp it. That's what I'm telling you, right? They couldn't grasp it. He said, he he said what? Eat my. He said, he said, drink my blood, eat my body. They thought he was a vampire because they they didn't see the big picture, and that's that why he had to use parables because a lot of people don't get it. Am hey, a guy, and I'm saying you don't get it. I'm saying for oh no, I get it. it. I get it. See, but this is my thing is see parables to me. It's fat. It's like cut. You know, you got cocaine, you, you, you dope, whatever. Then we have parables. It's cut. It's not the game changer, but it does. But it does see, but see, with me, move the conversation parable, along. But with me, a parable would never work in, in, a, in a, conversation, a conversation with me. It would never work. Like a metaphor right. would never work because I'm being literal. Like I'm being literal. So you, you can never get me with, with a parable. And it's, it's funny. Like, it's I'm like, gonna stop you here. Go ahead. Why? Because you don't believe in Paul. You don't believe that Paul was of any right. But you, what you're quoting right now is what Paul said. He said, I don't want to listen to the mere man's word, but the demonstration and the power of the Holy Ghost. He said the same thing. He said, I don't want to hear yeah, your Paul words. said some good things. No, no. He said, Paul said some good things. Yeah. 50, 50, he 50 50. He said some good nah. shit. He mixed it up. No, no, no. The Paul said some good shit. Then he said some bullshit. <laughs> Keep it up. Yeah, so, so, hold on. Galatians. But he said the hold same on. thing, though. Galatians. He said, I don't want to hear nothing. I want to see the demonstration. Galatians 3 13. Look at uh, your book. That's about the curse on a tree, right? Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. There you go. Paul called God's, he called God law a curse. It is a curse. Why? You God's just said law it. a curse. You just said it earlier. The land, the laws of Christ the land. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. Why would our whole conversation in the beginning was about the cursed law and how? People. So how was so? So let's get to this. So how was how was the curse? How was how, how was the, how was God? America does not have mercy. Hold on, I ain't asked my question yet. Uh -huh. So how was Christ's words a curse? How was his law Christ, a curse? Christ, he I mean, said I mean, the law. God, I mean, God. He didn't say God's law. So so let's hold on. Go back. Let's go here. No, but he says the law of God is a curse. Yo, I have no shit. I didn't even know you went there. Look. So here's the thing. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He's not talking about the heavenly law. He's talking about the earthly law. The earthly law is capitalism. This again is from the mind of Paul. Romans 7, 14. What does it say? For we know that the law is spiritual. Now wait a minute. He just said what is spiritual? The law. There's no mercy. If, he's, a, he's about that. if a murderer, he's about the, a rapist, he's about the, he's about the Old Testament. If a pedophile go to jail, that's more parables. They're done. You don't want more parables. Listen. No, 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 no. Literally. So you can't have a conversation then. I could. I don't, I don't need parables to have a conversation. I don't need parables either. Let's, let's talk then. Can we talk? No so, parables. No parables. But how are you going to connect? Because every time you go by the literal Bible, you say, "How does it even say that?" So. You're you're leaving me in a corner. No, I'm leaving you with nothing but truth to go on. And no, you. I'm no no. All we need is the word of the Bible. We all we need. We you, need all we need is the word of the Bible.
Right, but I'm letting you know that all the, we need the law that they're saying there is not. He's not saying Testament. the heavenly law. So Jesus said, "No, Paul's saying Jesus died, so we have to abide by the Old Testament." That's what I'm saying. Do you agree? Do you not agree? I agree, but he's not talking hold on, about hold on, the so, heavenly so law. So you agree that Jesus came here to abolish the old law, Old Testament. That was of, of numbers and judges and all that of Moses. By him dying on the cross goes back to. A month ago, he, how, by fulfilling the law, we, we're not going to get into that because we already went over. No, we get into all this. Like you said we got no, topics. We, Hold we, on, how you gonna do that? That's not fair. You, you say that, Joe. You spent a whole two hours with these guys talking about the fulfillment of the law. No, no, no. But I'm making a point. Right. So you agree that law Jesus, that Paul said that Jesus died to abolish the law of the Old Testament. No, Jesus died so that we have access to asking God. For forgiveness and having communication with God, so that we don't have to go to hell or we don't have to be in a prison in, 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 in a capitalist country that doesn't have mercy, because this country does not have mercy. So my, my point is this, and I know you, I, I know you as well. You're like, yo, this dude, he needs to, you know, he needs to be in jail. He needs to be killed. So Paul said this. Paul said Jesus died, so we don't have to abide by the law. But Jesus said that. In Matthew 5, 17, mm -hmm. I did not come to destroy the law or prophets, but to fulfill them, right. meaning obeying by example. Right. He, he, he wasn't the law. He was an example of it. Right. He did everything by the book. Right. And then when, hold on, then, 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 then somebody asked Jesus, how would I get to heaven? He said, by doing what I said, do, but, but by following my commands. His command was follow the Old Testament. He didn't come to change nothing. He wasn't the law. He didn't come to say, I'm the, I'm the sacrifice. That wasn't, no, no, no. Paul said that. Now, Peter didn't say that. John didn't say that. Luke didn't say that. Paul has, he has his own gospel. Paul's the only person in the Bible who wrote from a first party. He, he says, according to my law, according to my gospel. That's some selfish, like, no, he wrote, he wrote from prison. Most of these books was when he was locked up. Yeah, see, and everything he says too wasn't pertaining to everybody. It was to direct people. It was to certain people. So people quote Paul as if he says it for everybody. No, no, no. He's talking to certain people directly. It's not. To be, it's not. It's not for you today. It can be though. No, it's literally. No, literally. It can be. No, these are letters literally to address the people, but not it, you. It can be. No, though. it cannot be. Everything in the Bible is useful for today. Is expedient for today. No, it's not because 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 it, it wasn't wrote today. It wasn't written today for today. Nothing, nothing says I'm, it don't mention cell phones. It don't mention Facebook. It don't mention nothing about today. Yeah, they was wearing tunics then. What I'm telling you is though, even Jesus himself was not talking to people forever. Talk to people at his time, to his select group. It was not for everybody and forever. He Paul had letters. A letter is to somebody. It's not for everybody. A letter is a personal. You get know what I'm saying to you? So why why do people still call CDs? Why do the people still quote Pac? Why do, you know what I'm saying? How is it? Yo, dude, are you serious? Why do we, why do we idolize humans that are ce celebrities, but we, we get mad at people in the Bible? So here's my question. Let me ask you that. Why are you so mad about someone in the Bible? I'm not mad about, first of all, I don't believe in none of it, but I'm not mad about nothing. I'm mad. But you believe in Pac more than Paul. I believe in Pac more than Jesus. Right. That's, that's what I'm trying I, to I, say. I believe, you, you want that question? Why I believe in Pac more than Jesus? You, you want that question? You, you want to ask, ask me that question? Ask me that question. If Pop was here right now, yeah, did he ever mention God? He mentioned, he mentioned God. Okay. He mentioned God a lot. So you have a man that mentions God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or people that, that redirect their success or their, their example to God. Yeah, but. But you believe more in them than who they're glorifying. <clears throat> I believe in, Pop was a person that lived during my time. From my ethnicity, he talks about my struggle. Right. I can relate to him or I can relate to anybody in the Bible because I'm not, first of all, that's not my ethnicity. Nobody in the Bible is my ethnicity. None of them are from Native, none of them are from America, none of them are from Europe, none of them are from West Africa. Most of these people in the Middle East, right. most of these people, even in the, in the when they mention Solomon, right. they were they were uh, always mentioned as, as dark skin. But it doesn't mean, uh, if you want to get into like, Cultures or countries that's different because I'm not I'm not I'm not getting to, I'm getting to ethnicity but, I'm not so ethnicity breaks it most down. of the Bible actually there wasn't really a lot of white people in the Bible a in lot the, of them were Middle Eastern they had dark skin 
in the Middle Eastern was dark. Those were black people. The Bible talks about Gentiles, the Romans and the Greeks as Gentiles. Which those, Paul? Those, those are by the way, by the way, Paul is a Roman from Tarsus. Okay, but this is Turkey. From Turkey, right? But he was a Jew that speak Greek and was raised by the Romans. That's why he was so influential because he was around so many people. He was in. That's they specifically said Saul from Tarsus. That's like saying, um, you know, um, uh, Nipsey from uh, from from 60s. LA. Right. That's like saying uh, <laughs> I get, I get that, somebody I get from New York. But I because he had he was influential. Okay, let's go back to my point though. So Paul said Jesus died, so we have to abide by the old law. You, you agreed to that when I said that the first time. Jesus died, so we're not bound by the law no more because all we need is faith to believe in Him. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why that's false and why that's some bullshit. Because Jesus said, no, I didn't, I'm, "I'm saying yeah because that's what Matthew, you said." No, no, no. That's what Paul said. Right, but why? What you ask me if that's what you what you said, or are you asking me if that's what I believe? Only only Paulinians believe that Jesus died for our sins, and we all we need to do is believe. I've never heard hold of Paulinians before. Hold on, hold on. Because you're a Paulin, you're a Paulinian. No, that's I'm why not man. Like you never heard of white privilege. You have white privilege, but whole thing is this. You're Paulinian because you because you quote Paul more than you quote Jesus. I wouldn't say that. Christians, how many how, how many how many so without Paul, how many books is it of, of the New Testament? That that is in fact true. Hold on, hold on. So right. so, so so by that alone, you're going to quote more Paul because Paul got more material. Naturally, right? Naturally, Jesus didn't mention Paul. Do you agree? He didn't mention really anyone else after. That. Hold on, because there's no need. To, it's he no need only to, mentioned. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's no need to because he is the all. He is the right. alpha and omega. There so there's, no, there's nothing after him. Right. He only mentioned the father. It's That's nothing it. after Jesus. I mean, I'm not yelling. I'm, I'm yelling, but I'm not, you know, I'm not yelling. I'm, no, I'm no, I know, I know that. So it's nothing after Jesus. So why do we need Paul for any of his books? We had, we had enough. We had enough without him. So you can't, you can't display an argument without giving, a, without allowing. I'm allowing you. I'm asking you. Without allowing a counter um I'm asking parable. you. Go ahead. No, no parable. You, but no, no. But I don't you need can't, a parable. You can't. There's no way to explain it. I didn't give a parable. How you have a how you because, counter? How you counter? Hold on, hold on. One second. To counter a parable, you need a parable. I'm not giving you a parable. Because that's the subject at hand. But hold on, I'm telling you. Hold on. You said how can you how can you how can you get someone out counter? If you, a if you took hold over on. this, if you took over this interview, but and, yo, and it I was didn't only, give you a parable to counter. Wait. If you took over this interview and you picked your own topic and you said, we're going to tackle this and you were trying to explain to me, then you've used, everyone's used parables before. But the reason why this is the topic at hand. So there's no other way to explain it. Oh boy, pass it. I like that. I like that. I like the passion. Yeah, let me explain. Yeah, Listen, man. That's I'm telling you though. But, hold on, but, it's, but your but, question was. Go ahead. Your question. Say it again. <laughs> My question <laughs> was. Paulinians believe that Jesus Died, so we don't have to buy by the Old Testament no more. We we do the, the Old Testament. We can just believe in Him, and that's enough. By grace, what we need is grace. Oh, you were saying, why is it that if Jesus was all in all? Oh, yeah, say that. Yeah, my, I lost. You call what, me, yeah. What's so, the point? So, so after Jesus, we need nothing after Jesus. If that's what keep you, it a buck. If that's what you, all say, we need is Jesus. We all. That's you're right. My, Dap it right. up. Dap it up. Oh, we need hey. Jesus. So we don't, oh, yeah. so we don't need Paul's energy. Okay. We need you to hit a high note, Lee. <laughs> so, so, hey. so, 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 get what I'm saying? So, now, 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 so, now that we, now we're in the same playing field, that all we need is Jesus. Now we can put Jesus aside now, deal with this right here. So we don't need this, saying. but we're dealing with this a lot. And, but, come on. I know you say don't use parable, but it's impossible. It, it, you can't have a normal conversation. You could. I'll have all the time. I don't, I have you, all the time. On my whole life. So we, then we have to just, we got to just keep it all Jesus then. Let's keep it all Jesus then. Let's keep all it all, right. no, let's keep it all facts. Let's keep it all. Let's keep it all. No, no, no. Hold on, no. I'm not saying keep it all Jesus. I'm saying keep it all the book. Without without adding or taking from it, we have what evidence we need for our case. We don't have to I, use. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do this. I know you don't like it, but I'm gonna say it anyways. You like hip hop, right? Because I'm black. No, 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 no you're wrong. No, no, you fucking racist. Don't listen to him. You fucking racist. <laughs> fucking Roman. <Yeah. laughs> fucking Roman. Gonna tell me I like hip hop. I don't like. Yeah. I fucking. I despise hip hop. <laughs> I don't like Tupac. I don't like no fucking hip hop. You racist. Go ahead, finish. You don't really like hip hop. I like Tupac. In that's my it. music. In my music. That's, that's, that's all it. You to. My music and Tupac. That's it. That's it. all you listen to. All you need is Moses and Jesus. You need nothing else. <laughs> I don't need nobody else. <laughs> Pac, Pac, Pac said his part as Moses and I'm Jesus now. I don't need nothing else. But go ahead. You, you don't like hip hop. I don't I don't believe that. I don't like hip hop. 
I don't, I don't understand. Hip hop is break dancing and bebopping. You don't like I like hip-hop, rap, but you. Okay, I like good raps. Rap. I don't like okay. hip hop. I'm not from that culture. Let me ask you this. Come on, you parable. Get, get, Let me ask you this. Come on, parable boy. <laughs> parable boy. What you, what you what you're explaining has no choice but to have a conversation like this. Yeah, but not parable. Have to talk to me one on one without parable. Is that is that impossible? Christians always need parables. I'm trying to break you from that habit. Yeah, Just talk to you, B. You, I could talk to. Not but my man, of course you could. Not everybody could get that. All right, so here's the thing. Do you need Jesus after Jesus? Of course you do. We need, we need, Paul, we need Paul after Jesus? No, you don't need Paul. You need Jesus. But All we need is Jesus. If I was a Christian, I don't need Paul. All I need is Jesus. Whatever he said, well, and he didn't say a lot. He said enough. Paul went bananas and went crazy according to him. He, he said it according to my gospel. He said, I was not taught by nobody. I learned it on myself. He, he took it upon himself to make his own religion. Nobody who carries an antichrist spirit will ever, and I've seen it. We've ministered to a lot of people. I could prove something about antichrist. I have videos. I, see, I could prove it, prove it. Prove what? I could prove it, prove it. When we ministered and we, del- we prayed for people that were demonized, that can't say the name Jesus. And I, I kid you not, they sounded like G-Unit. They was trying to say Jesus. They I were like, an impediment. no, no, listen. No, it wasn't that. They couldn't say Jesus because they really had an antichrist spirit in it. Move here a little bit. So Paul always mentioned Jesus. There's, there's no way. Okay, so let's define any Christ then. Show me an example. And since what? you're just keeping the yeah, 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 Bible. What, yeah, what you want? Show me an example. What you want? That Paul was not true to who he was. Um, First of all, let's start with his 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 encounter with, 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 nah, with Jesus. Nah, nah. Hold on. Yeah, V had different encounters one time. So there's actually four stories that we need to look at when looking at Paul's conversion. Now, in the first conversion story, as it's found in the book of Acts, it tells us that Paul is on the road to Damascus, and then he is knocked to the ground by this blinding light, and he is surrounded by this light. There is no mention of his companions being surrounded by the light, only him. And then we are told that there is uh, this voice and his companions heard the voice. In the second conversion story, it's very different. It tells us that uh, his companions heard something, but they didn't recognize it as a voice. They didn't understand what was being said. This is important because it, it shows a contradiction in the story, but it's also important when looking at who Paul is speaking to in the other two stories. For the first conversion story is really a narrative by Luke, and we have to assume that he learnt the story from Paul himself because he was a companion of Paul's. Now also in the first uh, conversion story, we are told that immediately after his conversion, Paul began preaching in Damascus. And then after a while, uh, there were those Jews who became angered with him and wanted to murder him. And so Paul had to make an escape. And then after his escape, he went to Jerusalem. So immediately after his conversion, started preaching in Damascus. Now, uh, regarding Ananias, Ananias is seen as a second witness in this first conversion story and the same thing in the second conversion story. Now, in the second conversion story, it's actually Paul himself who is speaking, and he's speaking to the Jews and Jewish religious leaders. And so Paul had to stress the importance of a second witness who is supposedly Ananias. And what Paul tells us is that Ananias is also the one who had a vision from Yeshua and was given instructions to give to Paul of which Ananias was told to tell Paul that he is going to be sent to the Gentiles. So we find that this idea of Paul going to the Gentiles was first given to this second witness who is Ananias. And Paul explains it in this fashion because he's speaking to Jewish religious leaders and he had to be able to provide a second witness uh, to the things that he was claiming. But in the third conversion story, Paul is speaking to King Agrippa and he leaves out Ananias altogether. No mention of him whatsoever. In this third conversion story, Paul is stressing everything about himself. It's all about him. 
in this story, no one else could understand what was being said. It, it's just him. He hears from Yeshua directly. And Yeshua tells him that he is going to be spreading the good news, or he's going to be teaching uh, both to the Jews and the Gentiles, but they are going to be angered with him, both the Jews and the Gentiles. So, very different stories depending on who Paul is speaking to. And this is Paul's character, for Paul tells us that he becomes whoever he has to become when speaking to different people. Whatever the environment, whoever he's with, he changes himself. He becomes who he has to in order to appease those people. And that's what we see Paul doing. It's why he lies as he does. Three different stories. That's one, that's, that's one, that's one. Now, let's, first, I'm going to do that, but let's, let's define anti-Christ. It means to go against Christ, right? That's what anti means. He means never to go against. went against Christ. So he didn't persecute Christians? That's going against Christ. He did. That's an anti- Before, Hold on, hold on. That in itself is an anti-Christ. At that time. Step one. You're right, at that time. So that's, 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 that's one point for me. But are we talking about hold on, the old Paul or the Paul? All do it. Can I get to it? It's, no, Paul, a difference. Paul's Paul. Is it old Paul or new Paul? Let me ask you something. There's a difference. No, it's all the same. <laughs> no, but, no, but it's, man. No, it, no, it's dumb Paul and it's smart Paul. <laughs> it's a Paul who could kill nah, one. Nah, bruh. Can I get my, I get my point? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a Paul that could kill you one by one. But it's a Paul who could mislead you by a nation by making his own his own culture and religion. He hijacked the he hijacked Christianity from Peter. Peter is the rock. Where's Peter gospel at? How does Paul has more more gospels than Peter when Peter is the rock and it's the church is built on? But it seemed like the church is built on Paul. That's okay. No, Jesus didn't why say that, that. Why does that get you? Here's the thing. Paul, listen. Paul was not the savior. Let's get that clear. Paul was not the savior. He Paul was, he Paul was, was nothing. He was the antichrist. He considered himself a filthy rag. He himself considered himself a filthy rag. Let's go here. It was a filthy the book rag. of Romans. If you read the book of Romans, all he did was talk about his shortcomings. He said, oh, wretched man that I am. I keep messing up. I don't do what I want to do. I do what I don't oh, want to do. Oh, snap. He kept it's getting, a good he quote in there too. I, oh, I, wanna, I, I, ain't, I ain't write it down. He said, I'm doing the things I don't want to do, and I don't, I'm don't. i not doing the things I want to do. Yep, I'm, I'm yep, a wretched man. Quote. Whoever put this together, because Paul didn't exist to do it, but somebody put it together and attributed it to Paul. Because they knew you would believe that it came from God if he thought Paul did it. Got me? He says in the 15th verse, For that which I do, I allow not. In other words, I don't understand myself here. Go ahead. For what I would. For the thing that I want to do. That do I not. I'm not doing it. Go ahead. But what I hate. But the thing I don't want to do, the thing I hate doing, the thing I know I ain't got no business doing. That do I. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Now check how deep this goes. When I was a Christian, and when I was unconscious, and didn't want to take responsibility for my own actions, that was good news to me. You follow what I'm saying? I'm saying, yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> oh yeah, I can relate to that. I know I shouldn't be doing what things I'm doing, but hey, he had the same problem. So hey, go ahead, read. If then I do that which I would Listen to this, listen to this. If then I'm doing the stuff that I don't want to do. I consent unto the law that it is good. My conscience agrees that God's law is right. Go ahead. Now then, it is no more I that do it. Now this is deep, because now you're about to hear Flip Wilson come out. <laughs> but see, now then, I agree that it's really no more I that's doing this. But sin that dwelleth in me. But sin that dwelleth 
in me that's making me do what I don't want to do. So notice what he says. He says, it's really not me. In psychology, we call this multiple dis personality disorder. <laughs> it ain't really me that's doing it. It's sin. Geraldine used to say, the devil made me do it. I ain't do, I ain't do that. The devil made me do it. <laughs> Go ahead, read. For I know that in me. Check that. Now check out this. This is some deep stuff here. For I know. This is the verse I was going to have her read it first. For I know that in me. That is in my flesh. Meaning in my flesh. In my in, in, in my very being. What? Dwell is no good thing. Do y'all hear this? Yes. Mm. Now what's really tragic is black folk are being taught this. Yes. I know they're being taught it because I taught this to them. Find but, out. No, but watch no, this. No, find out for me, please. I'm going to show you something. No, what quote is that, though? Because that's important. You said that. Yeah, I, yeah. I got something for that. Yeah. That proves that Paul was insane. It, that literally proved that he was insane. He was conflicted. Listen, man. That, you, he was. He was conflicted. But, but so, me, so how can you find so a conflicted man? You a murderer? Then you a, then, then you a savior? No, no. He wasn't. Listen. He was a literal murderer. No, no. He There's murdered. There's a difference. There's a difference. When you're, when you're maturing, and I want to show you why he was maturing, okay? He was delivered, an Ananias. Delivered. But wait, listen. When he got his encounter, it's more than just accepting Jesus, but you need to get delivered. And the reason why I say that is because the Bible says he went to Ananias so he could pray for him. See, we, need, we still need mentors and coaches. You didn't, we, we all need somebody that we can at least have an outlet, somebody to talk to. It's not that you're idolizing them, but we still need an outlet, somebody that we can express things to, whatever, ask questions. So here's the thing, though. If you notice in Romans chapter 1, verse 1, it says, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, Called to be an apostle, he wasn't an apostle. Called by yet. Who? who called him? He called himself. Oh, wait, man. No, no. Tell, tell me who they called, called them. them. Right? Who called them? They called him. Right who they? On T-Mobile. No, no, no. This is literal. He called himself. Look, look. Remember, here's a here's the thing with people that do argue. Who politics. called them? Here's the thing. Do you know what? First of all, let's. Let, I want to ask you a question. Who called them? It was. It was. Uh, AT and T. See, no, I win. No, Listen, no, you know, no, 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 I win the no, argument now, right? There's no you argument. Saying, um, no, no, no it, argument. this is a great, it's a great argument. No, yeah. this is a great argument. No, we, this is right. an argument. Okay, but here's what I'm saying: is this first before we even go into any of that? Who called what, him? What's faith to you, anyways? What's faith to me? Yeah, divine faith. What it means to me, or what it really, really literally define means? Define it. What What is faith? Faith is believing in things that's absent, that you don't see. That's faith, right? But faith doesn't mean it's have you, real. Have you seen God? No one's seen God. No one's seen God. Right. No one ever. So he don't exist. That's why no one's seen him. He he exists. Well, he's we'll just he's inside that. a book. He shows himself, and it's not always just a beam of light. No, he never showed himself because literally he never showed himself. That's what Paul said, though, too. Yeah, Paul, he, he felt no, Paul 50, 50. See, I'm a criminal, right? So I'm, 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 I'm saying how, 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 how I swindle people. Like, if I'm doing a scam, right, I'll show you a bunch of truth, but it's a little lie that's going to cost you. It's a little lie that's going to cost you everything. But why can't Paul actually go through a time of maturity where he's relatable to the people? Why couldn't he go through that? Because what people? The Gentiles? Why, why can't he oh, go what through people? That? As Christians, what people? Why? No, what people? I'm asking you, though. What people? What do you mean? You do know Paul. Paul hold on. You, you, hold on. All right. Oh, wait, wait. We you, have the book of Acts, on, right? One, one, one second. One second. Yeah. You do know Paul tried to reach out. To other Jews, but they, they right. didn't believe him. They're like, the fuck out of here. You know that, right? He, he had pissed. to go to Gentiles. Yeah, they were pissed. Because he had no credibility. He was like, who, who are you? You you, you to 12 disciples. Right. And he had no credibility. You do. You be, need to he, build credibility. He, he, You're right. He had to go to the Gentiles because the, 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 he, people know the law. You go to guess he, everything he says go against the law. But you have to be, you're right. You have to build credibility. But here's, so, I'm trying to explain this. Look. I'm right all the time. The book of Acts yeah. is when he got his encounter. He, accept, he accepted Jesus. The next book is what? Yeah, one encounter. It's Romans. It says clearly, it says Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle. By right. who? He wasn't an apostle yet. That's according to but who? Hold on, though. Hold but on. I'm that trying to explain but, something. But, yeah, it's cool. Get talk, it, but, we're talking about credibility. But, but tell me who called him. God. According to who? According to uh, the people that <laughs> prayed for him. You know, go to, uh, go to Acts. No, no. 
You go to Acts. Who prayed for Paul? Who was his pastor? I don't know who. Oh, he he, he had a, it's a Pharisee. But who was his pastor? His his Pharisee. Oh, I know. I could, for I the go, people to know, it. listen. He, I want to let y'all know in the churches, Christians. A phone at. Your church, your pastor, your apostle has to have a. Listen, he has a Pharisee. You can't be doing this alone. And I, and I know a, why you're saying a rabbi. It. I know why you're saying that. You can't do this alone. But what I'm saying is, when he was called, he was not an apostle yet, ever. He was a, he was an antichrist. He was convicting and killing Christians. That's the ant, antichrist because Christians believe in Jesus, and he was going against them and killing them. That's a step. That's the antichrist. Look, go ahead. Look. I'm not trying to get I, into I'm, titles. I'm, I'm, I don't want to get I'm, into I'm, titles. We, we need to though because people need. To we will, them. but I don't want to get into the idolization. Of I'm let you do. No, I'm being. I'm being rude. I'm let you talk. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, no on. doubt. The Pauline message is the number one reason why church people have to keep coming to the altar. The Pauline message is the number one reason why there's so much mess going on in our lives that we are not addressing. And I say that to you brothers and sisters because the message of Paul tells you that it's perfectly fine for you to be messed up. Because no matter how much you drink, no matter how much you do drugs, no matter how much you commit crime, no matter how much you violate your own personal standards, no matter how much you give your body away, no matter how much you put in your body, you ain't got no button to put in your body. No matter what you do that ain't right. No matter what you do that violates your own conscience, it's all right. Because the blood of Jesus has already paid for your sins. That's the Pauline message. Well, let me share something with you that's going to mess with some. Now, see, some of y'all that's listening said, that's right. No, that's not right. <laughs> you have taken the responsibility off yourself. You have removed the, the consequence of, consequences of not being disciplined from yourself and put it on the cross. We used to sing songs that says, take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. Brothers and sisters, let me share something with you. The people who've been singing that think that they've laid their burdens down. Because they were told, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus, that dumb, sad song. <laughs> and it's deep because we walk up to the altar. <laughs> and somebody says to us, do you believe? Put your faith in Jesus. And you say, Yeah, 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 Lord. Yeah, Lord. That's it. You're saved. And you go away. And you're more messed up than you were before you came up here.